Kevin's project, um, and uh, Kevin had the opportunity to put together the four personas. Um, does anybody remember what the four personas were? Besides Kevin. Besides Kevin. <laughs> you can just shout it out. I mean, this is not, you're not getting graded on it. <laughs> ready to okay, students. students. Yeah. Faculty. Hmm? Faculty. <laughs> Employers. Employers. Rithvik's answer to many of you. <laughs> similar to faculty, but not necessarily faculty. Does that help? They can be faculty. Could very, they could, they could likely be. are, but yeah. don't necessarily have to be. Okay, that's all right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Collaborators in public are the ones we missed. Yeah. Okay, so there's four personas that we have, and uh, those are the four personas. So in front of you, we're going to divide uh, into two groups. Three people will be here, and three people will be over there. And what we're going to end up doing is, first part of it is that you have basically the persona broken down, and the first part, you have to identify which persona is it. Is it, you know, is it... What do we say? Public? Is it collaborators? Is it um, students? Or is it? What am I missing? It's interesting. Eh, like future employers. Mm -hmm. So um, based on that, so you'll have about um, eight minutes. Oh no. So you have two minutes to identify which one it is, and then if you don't get it in the first two minutes, I will give you the answer, and then we'll discuss to see why were you not successful in identifying the personas that we have. So this is clearly going to tell us, you know, that there's something missing or it needs something or if there's something that doesn't belong there. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, go ahead. Am I part of one of these teams? Mm -hmm. Because Yes, you are. Okay. Yeah, you are. I mean, if you know it right off the bat, maybe you let yeah. them kind of figure it yeah. out a little bit. Because yeah. then you get to work. You're the subject experience. matter expert here in this part, but yeah. definitely moving forward toward the end of yeah, the Yeah, definitely. Um, activity, your yeah. input will be important. Okay? So what um, are we supposed to figure out? So you're supposed to figure out, what, uh, on the first piece of paper, which persona is it, based on the information that is there. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, okay. and then um, we have Sharpies here. Um, in the first part, you don't really need any Sharpies or sticky notes. You just kind of read the information, and based on that, discuss to see which persona you think it is. Okay, and I'm going to start timing. So we're at 1.15 right now. I'm on the sleeper. Yeah, we'll do teams of three, and we'll switch for the second. Um, Wait, is, are you also on the team? Yeah. Be on our team, Kevin. Where does it go? Yeah. <laughs> okay. 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 So they could be current lab members, mm -hmm. not outside lab projects and people, potential lab members looking for a job. Um, they're motivated by looking for what this lab does, how they can get involved, and what projects we work on here. Um, they may come to us through the UTD or ATEC website, through mm -hmm. new social media announcements, they, by walking by and oh, seeing mm -hmm. our room. <laughs> the students. Massive crowds of chaos. Yes. Uh, friends and friends of now, and then you want to know if there's a way to find out what to buy out the use. They want to learn more about the lab, find lab members, contact information, learn more about the projects, including process results if you worked on it, or earn a little bit. I'm going to write it out. You can actually go ahead and write it right on here. Uh, or no, 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 I don't know what that got there. You sort of will have a point. Something's wrong. I thought that was like a lot of things. Next one. They so may you have it through exploring what the website yeah. may become an interested in potential collaboration or a new project. All right, you have 15 more seconds. Right. So, students. <laughs> <laughs> you guys will have it. <laughs> All right. So the correct answer is students. So we did a relatively good job on this, right? <laughs>
Oh, very good job on this. <laughs> so um, I'm sure as you're reading through this, there were probably at least one thing that you saw that might not be, you know, that might not deserve or belong on that paper, right? And to, can anybody point out that something that stands out that doesn't look like it should be a part of that persona? Mm -hmm. Was there something that you noticed that yes. seemed like it didn't belong in the persona? I know you know. <laughs> I, was, I was reading it, I was reading it, so I didn't write this. Or, or the okay, so as you can see, when we put these personas together, um, there's some stuff that you think, you know, might fit, and some stuff that might not fit the persona. So based on what you think, and based on your discussion, there might be things that you want to, you know, take out from that. So using your um, Sharpie pen, um, you can go ahead and scratch that one off. Or add. Don't forget, you can also add. Adding yeah. is very important. <laughs> Getting there. Yeah. yeah. Getting there. <laughs> yeah. So go ahead and scratch that one off. Um, just like that. Perfect. And now, you've read everything. Now you understand that this is the student's persona. Go through each section to see what are some of the things you can add in the identities, in the motivators, the journey, the desire. Um, outcomes and unexpected pathways. Is there stuff that needs to be deleted? Is there stuff that needs to be added? You know, so you have about eight minutes to go ahead and go do that. Or reword it. Or reword yeah. it, yeah. So whatever changes you want to make. I mean, I feel like this is... Oh, okay. Okay, so as you were doing this, you probably noticed that within the category of students, there's different types of students, and obviously those students, like undergrads versus PhDs versus potential high school students, have different type of motivations and desired outcomes that they're looking for. So considering that, we're going to get into the next set of the activity in order to define this even further and understand the journeys of these personas. So um, what we were thinking is that you would get into the shoes of one of the personas. So let's say, you know, obviously we're still thinking in terms of students, but maybe you think about potential high school, high school students that are interested in coming into the Arts High Lab. You know, what kind of a mindset would they have? How would they think? You know, how do they get to, how do they, get, how do they find us? You know, or maybe you're thinking about in terms of, you know, graduating students, what kind of a mindset do they have, what are their desired outcomes, what are some of the unexpected pathways in those terms. So, um, now, Simi, do you want to introduce the activity? I think you'll do a much better job at yeah, yeah. that. Uh, so you've got some sticky notes, different colored sticky notes. Oh, there it is, in front of you. The First one that we're going to be each of the colors that we're using are going to have special significance to this. So, as you delve deeper into, you both have students uh, written as your, your persona. You've identified that there is various different categories of types of students um, that you're going to look at, as, as just Chris kind of talked about here. Which of the categories have you all talked about? PhDs and. Undergrads, probably. And undergrads. Yeah. And then, how about y'all? Potential undergrads. Potential yeah. undergrads. Yeah, all, all over the place. Yeah. Um, That's okay. School okay. students, old age people, and then researchers, scholars, mm -hmm. and then both grad and undergrad. Okay. So, what for this exercise, what you're going to need to do is to select one of those subcategories. Students is very large. First thing that we want you to do is, as a group, select one of those. Think about the types of questions that that subcategory group might ask. So PhDs are going to be very different from mm -hmm. high schoolers of what they're looking for uh, within, within the lab space. What we'd like you to, to begin with is begin asking those questions. Right? What kind of questions might a PhD student have about the lab? Then, what I want you to do is to write out a journey. So first things first, you're going to start with the journey of exploring the details. Where might, let's just walk through this together, where might a high school student begin a, 
let's say they have heard about the ArtSci Lab, where might they go to begin with that? Okay. They might go like on a tour, they might like walk by it in the hall. Okay, so why were they here for a tour? They were looking to apply to UTD. Okay, so they're on a tour of campus, mm -hmm. probably, maybe not a tech. Um, do you want to smaller thing? That's okay. Um, with our enrollment office. So what I want you to do is to write out each of the steps. So they were here on a tour of campus, and this is going to be really important that you write out each of the discrete steps along the way. Visit at ATEC. Now, we're just going to take these two separate things. So these are sort of the factual steps along the way. Um, first thing that we'd like, so you're going you're gonna to try to figure out what are all of the steps. Yester and I are really going to come around and needle you of, oh, you missed something. That's, that's our job of uh, adding in sort of extra steps. First thing that we want you to do is what are the positive things that we, want, we might want to have happen when they visit ATEC? So they visited ATEC. Let's add a third step here. And building. And they came into visited ArtSci Lab. What are some of the positives that we might want to have happen during that visit? Specifically for a high school student who's touring campus at that time. What kind of positive experience might we want to have? To feel welcome. Okay. So to feel welcome. So that's pretty vague. Like, tell me more. That's good, uh, but, but be more specific of how they might. Because um, they they just finished high school. So they're trying to find um, kind of a place that they can belong or like a place that they can like, uh, fit into or just because like it's a new environment for them and college is a new experience. So just like um, they left their home, so they're trying to find like kind of a new place to, like, to kind of feel like welcomed in or like as in like comfortable. Probably like a diverse uh, diversity, so you enter and you see all people of all colors will be welcome. Yeah, and kind of like we're right here, right? <laughs> right here. Uh, within the space. So I, I guess as you're thinking about the what, right? We what the what here is we want them to feel welcome. Also then think about how. How how would we achieve that? And that goes here. So these are all of the positives. What are the things we want to avoid? These are the negatives. Roaches. Roaches. This place does not look clean. <laughs> Okay, uh, critters. <laughs> it's one. That's one. Of them. Fantastic. That was scary. That's, that's, that's a great that's war. That was scary. The nuclear holocaust. All we're going to have are roaches. <laughs> Human kinds will be gone. Right? They're going to carry out the art side lab. Let me see. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whole bunch of designing. <laughs> I think you get the, <laughs> so the wheels have fallen off, but I think you, you, you get the ideas, right? Yeah. First start with the factual steps of, of how, how might they get here, and that's, right, you, you're spot on of, okay, they came here, not maybe via the website, maybe because of a tour, or because of a conversation, or because of a friend, or because of whatever it might be, because of a dad who mm -hmm. collaborates <laughs> with, the, with the arts and lab, right, many different ways to do it. Think about those unique steps for your subcategory. That's the yellow. Think about the positives of what, what do we, how do we want to fashion those experiences and what are the best things? What do we want them to think and how might we, what do we want them to think or feel? How might we achieve it? And then what do we want to avoid and how might we avoid that? Go for it. What did you guys, um, what did you guys think about the second one versus the first one, student versus the employers? 
Second one's more interesting. Second one's more interesting. <laughs> well, more challenging too because it's harder to step into their shoes. Okay. So I specifically picked to do students first just to get you guys warmed up. And, and I thought it would be a little bit more fun to do that second so you have already you already know what we're doing. Um, how did you guys feel about the activity? It was good at the what, when we were actually going through it, it was less, a lot of the thoughts and ideas that we were having were less website focused than I was expecting. Yeah. Okay. But it kind of expanded the scope a lot. And I think going back, that part was an important step. Which part? So, uh, after you do this, you go back yeah. and check. Because you miss points. Um, the, I think what we realize is what you say is should not be taken for granted and put on the paper, yeah. so you know that what you've said and then what you've written is you connect, mm -hmm. uh, you connect both of them. I think that is important. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. Another important thing is that it's not all about the website, and I feel like it's the website's very important because we want it to update, but it's more of um, a cohesive rebranding, and I think it should be viewed that way. And it obviously includes the website because it's very outdated; it needs to be updated, but. It's more about identifying like what is our brand, how do we sell it, how do we sell it to others, and how do we just like take advantage of that. I and think, the logistics of disseminating that information, which yeah. is I think where the website really comes in because that's the easiest way um, to get a lot of people the information that we're putting together, but For sure. the logistics of it are an important piece. So, um, based on the time frames that were provided for each session, do you think, in which session would you add more time or remove time from? Because we do have two more that we still have to do. So, based on what you guys think, I can go ahead and kind of organize it, you know, a little bit better so that, because this was like obviously the first one, so.